today we're just going to be doing eight on a hand in how to hold six. Okay, so when you hold six, you're basically going to want to put your sick, the end of your sick on the second digit of your pointer finger, put your thumb on top, and wrap the rest of your fingers around. Don't try to have a lot of pressure in this area though. You're going to want the top of your hand to be parallel with the ground. Do the same thing with your other hand. Again, both parallel to the ground, that's key here. And then when you put them together, they're going to form a right angle on the practice pad. So we're just going to go ahead and do eight on the hand. So and it's exactly what it sounds. It's eight strokes on each hand. So when you're playing, make sure you keep your six down, except for when you're playing. We'll get to the technicalities of when to bring them up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm not going to use the metronome the first one, run, so. Okay. So that was pretty good. However, there is a way to make that better. Okay, so that in the background is called a metronome. And it's a tool we use basically to make sure we're being consistent with our tempo or the timing of our strokes. Slash rest, but we'll get into that in a later video. So I'm using another device for this. However, you can download a metronome on your phone. You can use a search tool. Um, you can use a sibling's or parent's phone. Um, but we're gonna just do, and I'm just doing quarter notes at 100 BPM here just for reference. So we're just gonna do eight on a hand here. Okay. 